What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a quick and easy tutorial of Wabajack. Wabajack is a program that allows you to download thousands and thousands of mods easily to your game, have them automatically install and automate the entire process in just a few clicks. So a few things to keep in mind before we get going on this process, some prerequisites. You will need Nexus Premium account. So there's two different options. You can either go yearly or monthly. A lot of people like to just go monthly and then cancel it immediately if they know they're not gonna be downloading a lot of these mod packs. And the next thing to keep in mind is you will need a faster SSD for these mod lists in most cases. You can get away with a SATA SSD, but you probably wanna go with an NVMe drive just to be on the safe side. And the last thing to keep in mind, a lot of these mod lists will have readmes that'll show you spec requirements that they recommend for your computer to run certain mod lists. So the first thing we want to do, we want to go to wabajack.org. We're going to go ahead and download Wabajack. And in my case, it downloaded to my downloads folder. We want to make sure that we move this installation before we click on it. This is my E drive here. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a new folder, Wabajack, and then we're going to move the installation EXE file to this folder. So next thing here, we're going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to install Wabajack inside of this folder. That's why we want to move it because otherwise it would have just made an installation inside your downloads folder. So once that's complete installing, we can go ahead and open up Wabajack here. It's going to bring up a window like this. And this is where we can go ahead and browse certain mod lists. It's going to show you a list of all the different mod lists that have been put onto their official site here. And then also the drop down right here will show you all the different games that we can mod. You've got your search here and then you can also filter some of these so you can show unofficial lists and then also not safe for work lists if you want to get a little freaky. All right, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to check that off. We're just going to be searching for a standard mod here and we're going to be modding Skyrim Special Edition today. So we can click on Skyrim Special Edition and then it's gonna filter out all the different mod lists here for just Skyrim. And before we click on any of these to download, we wanna make sure that our Skyrim Special Edition has been moved out of program files. A lot of these mod lists will probably install just fine even if the files are still in program files. But to be on the safe side, I would recommend moving your games in Steam. And in order to do that, we can go to Steam here, go to settings, go to storage, and then we can set up a new drive. I've already got a few different drives set up already, but you could go here and say add drive, and then you could add one of your other drives here. Let's just add this one as an example. And now you've got the D drive here. That's the one we just set up. And then to move your files, I've already moved Skyrim to the drive that I want, which is on my E drive. But in order to move it, I could do Starfield here. We could say move, and then we could pick the drive that we want to move it to. Now, before downloading any of these mod lists, we want to do a little folder preparation first. So on the drive that you're going to be downloading these mods to, I like to just make a new folder on my root and I call this one Wabajack Downloads. And then we're going to go ahead and make another folder called Wabajack Mods. And inside this folder, I would recommend sorting this by game. So in this case, I'm just going to make a folder called Skyrim. So now that that's all set up, we can go back to Wabajack here and we're going to go ahead and search for a mod list. I'm going to go with one that's a little smaller called Legends of the Frost. And here it is right here. So this one's only 60 gigs in size, but there are some that are as big as 350 gigs in size. So it all kind of depends on what your system can run. In this case, this is a lighter mod pack and it won't take as much time to download. And then we can go ahead and hit the download button here. This is gonna download the Wabajack file. And once it's completed, we can go ahead and hit this play button here. It's gonna bring up a new screen. It's also gonna automatically pop up the readme for all the installation instructions. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go through this. And in this case, it's in different categories here. We can go over and look at the installation instructions and it's gonna tell you everything that you need in order to run this mod list. And sometimes there are some prerequisites that you need to install like Visual C++ and some net framework. So I would just recommend downloading those just to make sure that everything runs properly. 
So once we've read through those instructions, we can go ahead and close that. And we want to set our mod installation location. So in this case, I'm on my E drive here and we're going to go to Wabajack Mods Skyrim and then make a new folder. I'm going to call it Legends of the Frost. Select folder, resource download location. So in this case, we did make a download location on the same drive here. But if you don't have enough space, you can put this download location on a different drive. And you can also keep the same download the location for all of your mod lists and that way if it ever uses similar mods then it doesn't have to re-download them again we're going to select that folder and then right here is where we can start the installation and if there's ever an update you will want to make sure you do the overwrite installation checkbox but in this case since this is a fresh install and it's not an update we just want to hit this play button here and let it do its thing and if everything was successful, you will see this screen that says finished and it'll stay in the bottom right here, installation complete. In this case, I'm just going to close Wabajack. So now we want to go navigate to the folder that we installed the mod list to. I'm going to go into this folder here where we installed the mods. And then you want to make sure you run mod organizer exe. Every single one of these mod lists, at least that I've seen so far, installs its own mod organizer. And this is mod organizer 2. And it's going to go ahead and launch here. And here we are in the mod organizer. And in this case, you just want to make sure it's running the script extender. Sometimes it'll say like the mod list name here. You want to make sure you're over that. And some of these mods have profiles like a performance profile or an ultimate profile. In this case, this one is just one profile. And then over on the left side are all of your different mods. It did take some of the Creation Club content, it looks like. And then you can go through over on this side, see what it's installed. If there's something that you want to modify or change, you can go ahead and mess with the checkboxes over here. Just be careful what you end up disabling or adding to the mod list as it might mess up other mods. So we're going to leave everything as default and go ahead and hit this run button here to run the game. You want to make sure you never hit unlock during this process. It can mess things up. And after patiently waiting, we can see here that we have the splash screen and we can start our adventure in our new modded Skyrim list. So on the top left, you can see it starts loading in some of those mods. Mods. Some mod lists will let you skip this intro. In this case, it looks like we're gonna have to play through the intro, but in the top left, you wanna make sure that those mods load in before you go too far into the game. The Legends of the Frost was just an example as a smaller mod pack, so I, I could show you guys real quick how to install it through Wabajack. But if you have the hardware and the specs, you can run something like Lorem or NGVO, which is just all the visual mods from Lorem, and get a Skyrim that looks like this if you have the hardware that is capable of it. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. If you like this kind of content, I'll be doing more mod list showcases and reviews. So subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.